time is it? It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly Let's time. Let's turn it up. Let's turn it up. Where are all at? Because it's movie review time. That's what time it is. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter. Movie review time. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. back. All right. Last Friday, as you might have known, because I was up on here with my regular live Friday night with Terrence. And we talked about Shazam, but I wanted to do my own little just quick spoiler review for y'all. Um, because, I mean, I know our lives get long, an hour, and y'all don't have time to be hearing all our thoughts in the hour. So this is my quick little Shazam review. Can we start off with saying I loved it? I loved it, y'all. I knew I would. I knew I would. I like fun you know, uh, silly comic book stuff. That's why my boy, my boy is Spider-Man. Why do I love Spider-Man so much? Because he flies around, you know, goes and fights the bad guys and all and cracks jokes doing it. And I'm going to tell y'all, watching Shazam, I totally got that same feel as I am watching Spider-Man. The lightheartedness, the jokes, the silliness. <laughs> I totally got that feel. Uh, and I like the villain. I'm going to tell you that too. I liked the villain in it. Dr. Savar Savarvo. It starts with an S. Dr. S. Like, can we talk to him, Dr. S? I didn't know much. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to start off with saying I did not know much about this comic. I didn't know much at all about the comic. Um, but... I went into the movie. I heard a little bit about it. I didn't know much about like the villain, but I love the villain. Number one, I loved how they did the villain's backstory. Like the the guy with the pole, the, the Shazam guy on the Lord of the Councils or whatever with the stick was like looking for someone to give the Shazam powers to, right? Totally come up like bringing kids there. And a lot of them was kids, but I guess some were adults. Maybe not. No, but... But it started off with the one young kid, like driving in the back seat with his eight ball, and and the dad's up there, and then they get he goes, to, to, like everything turns to ice and stuff, and he he ends up in this cave thing with the Shazam guy, and I mean the guy was like, no, no, you're not the right one. He saw this little ball thing, and he was gonna take it, and he's like, you're not pure of the heart, and all that stuff. Goodbye, and just, bye. So right there, you're feeling bad for the kid. Then, the dad and the brother's up in there in the front seat, and he comes back, and he's like, why'd you say that? Da, da, da. And there, he's yelling, and like going, because he just was in the cave, and then came back. And then the parent, the dad and the brother start, like, they swerve in this, and, and he find out, you're like, he's like, uh, stopped and then start yelling at the kid. The dad starts yelling at him. Then out of nowhere, bam! They get hit by some a truck. So of course he's going to come grow up to be a villain. That's always looking to find that cave again, looking for symbols and places and doing this whole research. Like he dedicated his life's research to finding how to go back to this cave. Spoiler, I mean, he does. And he gets the evil powers up in there, which are like the deadly sins. And they come in his body. And he gets this glass eye, this eye looking thing in there. And what does he go do? Like, first thing goes and kills like his dad and the brother. <laughs> I was like, you not even have a... Well, I guess if the dad was mean to him the whole, that's what he gets. Then on the flip side, then you got the boy, the Shazam boy. And he's like a foster kid. And, and that story, story is sad because, like, he was at this carnival with his mom. And then he gets lost and never sees his mom again. Then you come find out she knew where he was the whole time. Like, he's searching for his mom this whole time. She done knew. He got, I mean, you had to. I'm like, that mom never came to get him. 
That mom never came to get them. If my kid was lost, I would find my kids, you know? So that she did that on purpose. But he, you know, he's a kid, he don't realize it. So he just thinks like it's lost and he's going foster home to foster home and he winds up with this one, which is like the couple's super nice. Like they were foster kids and they have all these kids and they, it's like, the, if this is like, if you want to be a foster kid, this is like the, the, the home, the dream home for a foster kid, right? And he's sharing a room with the, the kid with the, he's got, he's like, uh, with the crutch thing and, and he's just like not wanting to fully get into it. Cause he's like, my mom's out there searching for it. But anyway, he accidentally kind of ha happened, happened upon the Shazam guy because that, that bad guy already came in and, and the old guy was like, I got to give this power to someone. So he gives it to him. So he gets like, this kid gets the Shazam powers and he was funny with it. It was funny. Like he was funny in the beginning. Like he's got these powers and he's like, boo, 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 look at the powers. He's like doing dances. Like they give him the street with like people that play like musical instruments and they open up the case and you give them money and stuff. He's out there like doing that with his powers, like boom, 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 <laughs> you know, like doing this stuff with his powers. So... Yeah, like, I mean, it was just fun and silly. I would say if there was one complaint, and I didn't think about this till later. If there was one complaint about it, someone brought this to my attention, is that Zachary Levi as Shazam was awesome. He had, he played like the kid at heart. Just like, you, you're looking at Shazam and you're like, he's, he's a kid. Like you looking at him, looks like an adult, but like hit it. One complaint I would say the little boy character and the grown-up Shazam don't match because when he turns into a little boy he's kind of like depressed a lot of times and like me like he's not fun you know like never so he turns into Shazam and now was like woo I mean I guess because it could be like that you know I guess it could it just it, it did seem off and I didn't think about it till someone brought it to my attention later and I was like all right fine you're one complaint I love the rest of it I love the rest of it. The jokes, like I brought my 13 year old son, he was cracking up the whole time at the jokes. Now he said though, the one complaint he had, he didn't like the end. I mean, it ended, they're fighting, you know, the the doctor Savah or whatever, and the foster kids are there. And he like gives his powers to like he splits it. He's like, hold on to the ball and splits the powers. And all the foster kids become like a, a superhero, like a Shazam. And then they, they fight all the, the, the seven deadly sins and the evil guy and all that. He didn't like that. He was like, they shouldn't have done that. But this is the thing. I totally heard like in the comics is like afterwards. And I'm asking people that's read the comics. It's totally like that in the comics. Totally like that in the comics. So I'm like, it goes by the comics. Sorry you don't like it. It, it. The the story goes very close to how the comics is. Very close. Now, I'm telling you all this. That end credit scene. Or mid credit scene. It's at the mid. There's not an end. It's a mid credit scene. Because in the story, they have the one, I was telling you, the, the boy with the, the uh, crutch, you know, and he gets bullied and stuff. And he kept telling people, I'm friends. Like, so like one, like earlier in the story, he was like, my friend, I'm friends with Shazam and blah, blah, blah. And he's going to come to lunch. And then the boy and, you know, Shazam never showed up because they had beef at the time, them two. Well, the end is he's having lunch and who shows up Shazam, like making his day again, right? Like, oh, he showed up, they're friends, blah, blah, blah. Who's with Shazam? Superman is right there. So right there, it hit me. I was like, oh, that's right. Like he is going to be in the DC universe now. At first, I couldn't picture him in the DC universe. I'm like, he's a kid, which like the Flash is in it, right? They had Justice League and the Flash and I love the Flash in it. I couldn't picture him. But then when I really started thinking, and some Terrence, when we're talking about it, told me he's like, you know, he kind of has it, like to see him with like Wonder Woman because he kind of has that crush on Wonder Woman. And I was like, oh, and you can see him with Batman because Batman's always serious and stuff. And you can see him just being ridiculous, a kid with these powers with Batman. And he has like his powers are his powers are, are like he can do everything. He can, he can do he got the strength. 
the bullets ain't hitting him like Superman. He's got the speed, like he's got some powers. He got the the things he can, the, the lightning bolts out of his thing. Like he's got some powers. So he's like one of the most powerful ones in the Justice League. And he's going to come up there as, as a kid and a kid mind and just being ridiculous. <laughs> I hope it happens like I mean they give you that they lead you to believe it right like you the like Superman's right there with them so anyway I thought it was good I enjoyed it I will see it again and again and again and I'm gonna tell y'all like DC's bringing it DC's bringing it this Shazam what's coming out later this year Joker and like the Wonder Woman is coming out after that like I think, I think DC is bringing it lately and I'm excited about it. And this just goes to show you, this just goes to show you, this was good. Y'all have to see it because I'm excited for what's in the future of the DC universe. All right, y'all, you know what to do. Subscribe, give me the thumbs. Let me know if you already seen it. Let me know what you think and bye y'all.